thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to meet with us today. Well, Sunny, thank you very much for asking me. So, regarding the red blotch, I understand that the graves don't ripen, not past 17 degrees bricks. Is that true? And how bad is the situation? Well, there have been vineyards that have not reached sugar. I talked to a grower today who harvested a Cabernet last year at uh, 17 degrees bricks in uh, October. And I think that is um, the delay in ripening. Uh, I don't think it actually stops the sugar. There are other growers who have tested positive for red blotch mm -hmm. and have had no sh trouble uh, getting ripe. Mm -hmm. The um, reports range from uh, two to five degrees brick slower. As far as this virus, it's been around for a long time. I like to look at it more as the cup's half full mm -hmm. because we now know what it is and we can deal with it more effectively. Mm -hmm. I've heard that Red blotch looks very similar to leaf roll. Is that true? And can you tell us exactly what are the differences? Yeah, it does look like leaf roll, and I think that's one of the reasons that it's kind of gone undetected for however long. Mm -hmm. uh, the leaves turn red, like leaf roll, but with leaf roll, the veins remain green, and with leaf roll, there'll be some degree of uh, curling of the leaves, sometimes a little. Mm -hmm. and sometimes a lot. Um, the viruses are not mutually exclusive, so you can have leaf roll and red blotch mm -hmm. in the same vine. But if you've tested for leaf roll and it's come back negative, you can now send in test for the red blotch, and if it comes back positive, you'll have a good indication. You can do some visuals out in the field, but the best way to determine it is going to be sending a sample to the lab. The, um, test for this has only been available since October 2012, so we're talking months. So it is very brand new. And over the winter, nurseries and the research institutions and growers were uh, taking dormant wood and testing that. And this spring, they're finding that in the green tissue and the petioles that they're using for testing, the uh, virus level is one-tenth to one-hundredth so much lower than in the dormant wood. So we really don't know enough about this virus on the best times to test. Is there a certain time of the year that symptoms appear? They uh, start appearing in summer, anytime between uh, late July and August. Again, it's similar to leaf roll. So you'll be looking at uh, a little bit of red, reddening on your basal leaves and it will progress. It can, the canopy can become completely red as the mm. season goes on. And what varieties are affected? Well, so far they've found it in uh, 20 different varieties and rootstocks. Uh, undoubtedly, they will find it in more varieties and rootstocks. I don't think the virus is going to be picky about what grape it goes into, although it may vary in uh, symptom expression. There may be varieties or rootstocks that have more tolerance than others. What areas, if any, seem to be hardest hit? Well, you get the test, again, has only been available since October. So, so far, California, Oregon, Washington, Texas, Pennsylvania, Virginia, New York, and Canada have tested positive. And they're testing overseas, but um, since the test has only been available for a few months, it's, um, we really don't know the full extent of it. So do we know how it's transmitted? Well, we know it's graft transmissible, so that's the hallmark of viruses, is that they're graft transmissible. And if we find out that there is a leaf hopper vector, then that will be another way that it's moving. What resources are currently available about the disease, and where can we get updated information as it becomes available? There's a lot of resources that you can find just by Googling red blotch. One very comprehensive resource that I've been uh, relying on, and in fact, to get a lot of the information for this talk, is the UC Davis Integrated Viticulture. It has a short description of the disease and then all of the uh, various references from USDA and uh, Cornell, and uh, a very good webinar called uh, Red Blotch Disease, an Emerging Issue. 
We'll be sure to get that information posted on our website. So at this point, is there anything we can do to fight the disease? Well, uh, I can recommend that growers not put wood in their vineyard that has not been tested. So don't get wood from your neighbor to do budding. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and don't let wood leave your vineyard that hasn't been tested. Even if you're not seeing symptoms right now, uh, don't let that wood leave your vineyard if you don't know if it's clean for sure. Mm -hmm. um, if the leafhopper vector does turn out to be real, then we're going to be having different recommendations for management in the future. Laura, thank you again so much for meeting with us today. This has been very informative, and I hope you'll come back and speak with us when we get updated information on this red blotch disease. Well, thank you very much for having me. I've enjoyed uh, giving a little bit of information, and we'll look forward to giving you more when we know more. Great. Yeah.